Hi! Today I want to show you how to do this granny square with a little flower in the middle. Don't be intimidated by it, it's not that hard. The hardest thing we will do is that we will be working a little bit with the double triple crochet on these petals. But besides that, it's just double crochet all the way. So let me show you how to do it. For the yarn, I have used three different colors of cotton yarn. This is 100% cotton in a sports weight and then a crochet hook of three millimeter that goes with the yarn. But really you can use any yarn and any hook that goes with the yarn for these granny squares. Other than that, I have used some scissors and then a tapestry needle to weave in the ends. First we grab the yellow yarn to make the center of the flower. Then we make a magic ring. So take the short end of the yarn and wrap it around your finger three times. Take your hook underneath all three, wrap the final one, pull through the other two and secure the yarn. Pull it off your finger, then chain three. One, two, three. These three count as the first double crochet in the ring and we will be doing 12 double crochet. So yarn over to make the first double crochet. Insert your hook in the middle of the ring. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two. Now we have two double crochet. To make the next double crochet, you yarn over and then you insert the hook in the ring. Then you yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's three double crochet. Continue like this until you have 12 double crochet. And 12. Then grab the strings over here and pull the stitches together. So they sit very tight. Then pull the short end just a little bit, just to see which one moves, and then grab the one that moves and pull it together to form it into a circle. When it closed up, you pull the loose end and then you have your center of the flower. In this first chain you did, you will now do a slip stitch on the top chain. So in the third chain. And that's it. Now we can cut the yarn. Then pull your hook out. And then grab the white yarn. I always start from somewhere else that uh, than where I finished. I think that gives the best result. So insert your hook through another stitch than where you finished. And pull the white yarn through. And tie a simple knot. Then insert your hook. In the stitch, grab the yarn and pull it through. Now it's secure and we will chain four. So yarn over, pull through four times. Then we will do a double triple crochet. So you yarn over three times. One, two, three. Then you insert your hook in the same stitch where we secured the yarn. Then yarn over and pull through the stitch. Then yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So now you have uh, two, <laughs> two loops back on your hook and you will be le leaving them we will do another triple, double triple crochet 
So yarn over three times, insert the hook in the same stitch again, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and we have three loops on the hook. Now you yarn over and pull through all three to finish up this first petal. Now we have the first petal of the flower and we will be moving on to the next petal in the next stitch. We will do three double triple crochet in each of these stitches to make all the petals. To move on to the next petal we chain two, so one, two, and then we do our first double triple crochet in this next stitch down here. So yarn over three times, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two, yarn over, pull through, two, yarn over, pull through, two, and then leave the two loops on your hook and do your next double triple crochet in the same stitch. One, two, three. Insert the hook in the same stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through, two. Yarn over, pull through, two. Yarn over, pull through, two. And leave the loops. Do another double triple crochet. So yarn over three times, insert the hook, finish your tr double triple crochet. Is that hard to say? So now you have three double triple crochet. You yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook and you have your next petal. So chain two and move on to your next petal. You just repeat this petal over and over. You will do three double triple crochet in each stitch. So you should have 12 petals when you're all the way around. When we're done with all 12 petals, we will connect the ends by doing a slip stitch on the top stitch of the first petal. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, pull through, and you're done with your flower in the center. Then you cut the white yarn and pull the, uh, pull the hook through. And then we grab the rosy yarn. I will again attach the yarn from somewhere else, so not here, but in another gap. So just insert your hook through one of these gaps between the petals, then grab the rosy yarn and pull it through. And I will again just tie a simple knot. Then secure the yarn. And that's it. Now we chain three. So one, two, three. And then do a double crochet in this same gap. So yarn over, insert your hook in the gap, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So now you have two double crochet because this first chain counts as the first double crochet. We will leave it at two and then chain two. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So first two double crochet, then two chains. Then we will do another three double crochet in the same gap. So yarn over, insert your hook, still in the same gap 
and do a double crochet. And then another double crochet, still in the same gap. And one final double crochet. So now we actually created the first corner of the granny square. We will now move along to the next gap. Just insert your hook in the next gap and do a double crochet. Nope. First you yarn over and then you insert the hook. And then you finish your double crochet. Sorry. And then another two double crochet in the same gap. So yarn over, insert the hook and finish your double crochet. So now you have two double crochet. You will do one final double crochet. So you have three double crochet in this next gap. Then move on to the next gap. Do three double crochet. So yarn over, insert the hook in the next one, do a double crochet, and then another two double crochet in the same gap. So three double crochet in each gap. Move on to the next gap and do three double crochet. One. two and three but we will also be making a corner in this gap so we chain two to create the corner and then we make another three double crochet in the same gap So that was the second corner. Three double crochet, then chain two, then another three double crochet in the same gap. So we have the first corner down here. We worked along the edge up here, and then we created another corner up here by doing two chains in between the two sections of double crochet. Now we'll make the other edge. So you turn and then do three double crochet in the next gap. Then three double crochet in the next. And then again, three double crochet in the next one, where we also will be making our next corner. But first, three double crochet. And then you remember how to make a corner. We chain two, one, two, and then another three double crochet in the same gap. So that's it. Continue like this all the way around. Now we will be making three double crochet in the same stitch for the next three. Then do a corner over here and then meet me up when you are right here. To finish up this first round of the rosy color, we will now continue from this gap to this because we, will, we were only doing two double crochet in the beginning and we will be making three in total just like all the others so after your final double crochet over here you move on to this first gap 
and do your final double crochet, which belongs to these two. And then you do a slip stitch in this first chain, in this top chain you did, to connect the round, just like this. That's your first round. We will now be moving on to the next. So you chain three, one, two, three, and these chains count as your first double crochet. You will then do a double crochet into this next stitch on top. So yarn over, insert your hook and do a double crochet. And we will now be making a corner. So each time you meet one of these corners, you do two double crochet, then chain two, then another two double crochet in the same gap. So first two double crochet, one in the same gap, another double crochet, two, then chain two, one, two, and then another two double crochet in the same gap. And then we created this corner. Now we will do one double crochet in every stitch all the way to the other corner. So the first one is hiding just a little bit do one double crochet into it and then just one double crochet in every stitch all the way to the other corner. Your final stitch and we will do the corner. So in the corner, just like the other one, we will do two double crochet then chain two, then two double crochet in the same gap. So one double crochet, two double crochet, then chain two, then another two double crochet in the same gap, one, And two. And we created another corner. Then just one double crochet in every stitch all the way to the other corner. And you do two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And we will meet each other right here. Then we connect the ends by doing a slip stitch in the top chain of your first double crochet. And that's round number two. Then chain three. Then a double crochet in this next stitch. And then a double crochet in each stitch all the way to the corner. And the corner is the same as the uh, as the previous row. Two double crochet in the gap. Then chain two. Then another two double crochet in the same gap. And then you continue exactly like the row before. You do one double crochet in each stitch all the way to the corner. In this corner gap you do two double crochet, then chain two, then two double crochet, and then continue all the way around. Finally a slip stitch in this stitch. And you do that like all the other rows, like this. Then you cut the yarn, Pull the hook through the loop 
then you weave in your ends and you have your granny square. That's easy, okay? <laughs> right? I hope you found the tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!